What's up everybody? Welcome to Core Kids Revival TV and it's me, your girl Jenny Weaver and I'm excited about today because this is going to be part one of staying free of new age practices and breaking witchcraft is really what we need to call it. Yeah, let's call it that. Breaking witchcraft part one. But before we get into it, I want to just welcome everybody. The core kids are revival kids. What does that mean? That means that they love the things of God. You love the things of God. They are passionate about God. They're on fire. They are moving and shaking things up in the world. They're not just sitting on a pew, just doing nothing. They want the real thing, the real fire of God. And we are seeing our core kids just doing miraculous things. And at the end of this video, we might even have some video clips that you can see the kids moving in the supernatural. It's powerful what's been happening. So I have an announcement. We have this summer, July 14th and 15th, our Core Kids Revival Summer Camp in Orlando, Florida. And you can register for that event. We're allowing a certain amount of kids to attend. So your parents bring you, it's a free thing from ages five to 13. And so you wanna make sure that you're registered. What's the best way to make sure that you get registered is that your mom is in the core group. So because we release it to all of our ladies first and or your dad is in core men's. So that's one of the ways that you can be a part. We are so excited about it. And also we have been um, talking about this and we're gearing up for it. Um, to just continue this once a month night of fire with our core kids. It's an online Zoom meeting where we preach, pray, prophesy. We're going to testify. We're going to encourage each other. You'll be able to see other kids like you who are on fire for God. And so it's just going to be powerful. So without further ado, did you like, subscribe, click the bell? And do, you need to do all of those things. Let's continue to bump this up through the algorithm so more people can hear the gospel. And today we're going to talk about breaking witchcraft. All right, I wanna share with you guys a scripture and hope you have your sword. We chopping devils with it today. This is a scripture and it comes from Deuteronomy. That's a fun word to say, Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse 26. Chapter seven, verse 26. And this is what it says. Are you ready? It says, do not bring any detestable objects into your home. Another version says, do not bring cursed objects into your home for then you'll be destroyed like them. You shall utterly detest such things, for they are set apart for destruction. What is this saying? What is the word of God teaching us right here? It's saying, don't bring in cursed items, or I'll say it like this, demonic things into your home. Don't bring them into your life. Don't bring them into your spirit. And so we're gonna talk about what are some of those things that we could bring in, maybe we didn't even know, that are actually not good, but they bring a curse into your life. Where demons go, hey, that's my stuff in there. We're the creators of that. That means we can come in. We don't want that. We wanna get the devil out in the name of Jesus. And so I'm gonna talk about these things and maybe at the end of this video, maybe the Holy Spirit will help you to find certain things in your life. Maybe you let in because you didn't know. And maybe the Lord begins to say, hey, I don't like that. And I want you to get rid of it, to honor me. And some of the things that I have learned in my own life, because listen, when I was young, I got into witchcraft. And back in the day, I don't want to tell how old I am, because I look young, right? Okay, some of y'all didn't say yes. but. Back in the day, witchcraft was not like it is now. Now it's almost like it's everywhere. And people are like kind of okay with it. Back in the day, it wasn't like that. But I was getting into movies. I was getting into certain music. I was looking at different books and different things in stores that had everything to do with sorcery, magic, witchcraft, new age, occult practices. 
and the devil began to get into my mind and my heart and pulled me away from God. And I went to a very, very dark, horrible place in my life. Thank God he rescued me. But some of the things that I got into were things like horoscopes. And if you don't know what this is, perfect, because that means you don't got it. Horoscopes is where people, instead of going to God and God helping them to show them their path and direct their way through the word, they go to this cosmic power in the sky through the stars and somehow the stars are gonna tell them what's gonna happen that day. That is not what we're supposed to do. That is a form of new age, which is witchcraft. Another thing that I used to get into is things like bringing in healing crystals and I would have certain jewelry where I, it would have like little witchcraft marks on them and different things that I thought was cool. For example, the evil eye necklace, the evil eye bracelet. The evil eye, is, it's like it's all over. People are trying to make it popular. It's on the clothing, it's on the shoes, it's a, here, there, everywhere. You see kids in your school probably wearing it. But it is not of God. It is an accursed item. It's cursed. It actually has things to do with the demonic realm and being able to use a magical eye. This is what they think, where you can see. That's not of God. God did not inspire that. So we have to be careful. Another thing is I was watching movies and TV shows that I thought were cool because, hey, they were entertaining me. I was watching sorcery and magic and witchcraft. I, many of you know like uh, Harry Potter. And Harry Potter, you might be going, oh man, that's one of my favorite things. Well, listen my friend, I gotta either give it to you for real or I'm gonna sit up here and lie, but I can't lie. Harry Potter is all about sorcery, magic, witchcraft, and new age. And the Bible says that if you practice those things, that you will not have a place in the kingdom of God. It is a sin. It literally is a sin. God looks at it and he goes, I hate that. You're going to another source instead of going to my source. You're going to the witchcraft for the power instead of going to the Holy Spirit for the power. You're going to the crystals and to burning sage and to watching all of this stuff on TV instead of going to my precious son who paid a price. You have to make a choice to either be all in for God or you can be dancing with the devil and entertain yourself with these witchcraft things. Um, some of you are watching and you didn't even know. And so for that, God has grace on you. But now you do know. And when you come into truth, now you have to make a choice because you know. And so what I did was I got rid of anything that was not pleasing to God. I went through my closet and I pulled down shirts and, and different items that I had that had magic and sorcery and said Capricorn and uh, all these different things in my room that I had books and posters and CDs and all kinds of things, movies, and I got rid of it, threw it out, never to be seen again. And I repented to God. I asked him, God, please come in and cleanse this place with your blood. I repent, God. I will not turn to those things I did not know, and I confess it to you now, and I ask you to forgive me in the mighty name of Jesus. And I knew in that instant that he, for he forgave me. And I'm coming to you to tell you this. When I began to get into witchcraft, I went down a road that none of you kids would ever want to go down. And I'm here to tell you, I, listen to me. Let my story help you and save you some trouble. I went down places and I'm gonna talk about it in part two. Next week we'll talk about part two. I went into places and if I told you some of the things, you'd be like, oh my gosh. And because I know we have little, little, little kids here, I'm gonna be mindful of how I say these things on part two. But I opened a door that I was not ready for. 
And I thank God that he, he loved me enough to pull me out of that. And so today I want to encourage you, let the Holy Spirit speak to you and ask him, what is it in my life, if anything, that I need to get rid of and get it out and break that contract with the devil? Why don't you just lift your hands up to the screen right now as we begin to pray. And I believe the Holy Spirit is speaking to many of you right now. The Holy Spirit is touching your hearts right now. The Holy Spirit is highlighting things. He's bringing things to your mind right now that you might have in your life that you didn't even know that you need to get rid of. Even if it's a video game, even if it's one of your favorite books, even if it's one of your favorite shirts, God is speaking to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we break all witchcraft, new age practices, occult activity, and the demonic realm now in the name of Jesus. I break it off of your life in Jesus' mighty name. We speak right now that the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus is touching you right now. Holy Spirit, show us what we need to get rid of. Show us any areas in our life where we have not fully submitted to you right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, why don't you stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. Pray in the Spirit with me. We thank you, God, that we are covered by the blood of Jesus. We thank you that all witchcraft is broken off of our bloodline broken off of our family, broken off of our mind. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And if you believe that, why don't you shout with a loud voice, amen and amen. Come on. Woo! Something just broke. Woo! And you are set free. Now, I don't want you to forget, I'm doing part two of this. We need to dive a little bit deeper so make sure you tune in next week as well. And don't forget, we've got Core Kids Revival Summer Camp. We've got the Core Zoom Night, the Night of Fire. We have so many things for you. And if you have a video, testimony video, you got something you want to share, even artwork, why don't you send it in to Core Kids Revival TV at gmail.com. And stay tuned, because we're going to show you some really cool clips that some Core Kids sent us. You don't want to miss this. I love you, and I will see you next time for Core Kids Revival TV. This is crazy right now. The last hour is coming. I had a dream. I had a dream. I had a dream about Jesus coming back. I seen clouds. We were doing homeschool. I looked at my mom. I looked back out the window. So many clouds of God appeared. Angels. So much. Queer kids, the last hour is coming. Be ready. I am saying, be ready. I just wanted to say something that I really love to do. What I do before, and I don't know, well, I, I speak in tongues a lot, and I pray at nighttime. When we go to sleep, I pray in English, because I don't know how to pray in Spanish. So I pray tons a lot and I just do a lot of things. Well, I love God so much in my heart because Jesus is in our heart. I love him so much. Hi kids, today I have a message for you today. So here it is. Fear must go. I decree that every kind of fear has to leave me. Fear is not allowed to control me, follow me, or enter my mind. God has not given me a spirit of fear. Fear is from the devil and I command all the work of the devil to leave in Jesus name. Fear you have to go right now. Amen. Like if you love Jesus, he gave his life for us. He died on the cross for us. He saved us from death. If he... Hello for kids, my name is Andrew and I want to share a testimony about schoolwork. So I was having trouble on a question in an exam and I pray to the Holy Spirit, give me wisdom please. And as soon as I look back at the questions, one of them was highlighted green. So I answered them and it was correct. That was a great testimony that I've ever had. Bye for kids, see you next time.